what was your plan going into that race? It kind of looked like a rerun of Tokyo. Is that what you were thinking? Uh, I mean, I didn't feel that great. Usually, I, I feel uh, I feel a bit tired going into like six to eight hundred, and then really starts to loosen up. That didn't happen tonight, so not not one hundred percent, but. <laughs> of course, uh, a little bit disappointed with silver. Uh, on the positive side, uh, it's a it's a lot of fun to be a part of. Uh, you know, a big, great field uh, that we can be competitive and run fast. Even though, you know, some of uh, the best runners at the moment is not here, it's going to be a, a great field. So, a lot of fun to be a part of that. At the same time, I'm. I'm. Uh, I came here to fight for the gold. It was a good fight, but not quite there. As good as Tavira is, were you a little surprised after the world record race to see him on your shoulder from 50 to go? No, he was. He was on my shoulder in in France as well. Uh, but of course, uh, I were, weren't in uh, that shape tonight. I felt pretty good in the warm up, so not sure. Uh, of course, I'm a little bit surprised. Not 100%, but it's, it's, it is what it is. It's, uh, it's a nice race, but uh, of course, uh, great athletes. But I want to win. Would you, do, would you do anything different if you could run it again? If I knew that I was completely shit tonight, I would of course <laughs> do a lot of things different. But I didn't have any factors really telling me that before the race. So uh, a bit surprised after 800 that I, I didn't feel better. But it is what it is. A lot of athletes in championships in the 1500 have tried to run fast in the final, both Chariot and you have done it. Would, did tonight's result, would that affect how you run tactically in the finals moving forward? That's the nice thing about being faster than everybody else, that you don't really have to be tactical. But uh, today I, I wasn't faster than uh, Tapera, obviously. So that's that's what's so, uh, so nice about fast 1500 meter finals, that the best runner and that evening is usually the one on top. Tempera was, was better than me tonight. I thought I was better than him. Uh, of course, uh, having run the, the record. So, a little bit disappointed, but rivalry is a, is a really nice thing for, for everybody. So, how are the worlds? How have the, the training been going? How confident were you like three days ago? It's been going really good. Or In our training, it's we don't usually do like big key sessions. Uh, we usually do a lot of mileage. So, uh, we usually don't like take out too much in training and more prepare for races uh, but sometimes it's uh, it's not always 100% tonight was that sort of race uh, so of course as I said a little bit disappointed but just have to focus on the uh, next next race I guess what do you want from your outdoor season? what? what do you want from your outdoor season? of course to, to be a world champion at two distances? Uh, first they have to win one, then we can focus on uh, everything else. What has it been like at this championships without your father? This is the first major championships you've run without him coaching you. Has it been challenging for you? No. And who gives you, like, like, who decides the sessions that you're going to do now? Does your older brother do it? Is it collaborative? Who's sort of in charge? It's uh, uh, a little bit collaborative. Uh, of course, we, I do uh, more or less the same that I've always been doing. So it's not that much of a, of a change. but. Uh, of course, you have to find the right sessions for each day. Of course, uh, the championships, there's a variety of uh, dates and just have to work backwards from uh, the next goal. So it's more or less just to set it up and then, uh, of course, a little bit adjustment, really easy. Many athletes of your caliber would not always run the World Indoor Championships. Why did you choose to come here and compete? Because I've been feeling, uh, feeling good. Of course, uh, I love to race, and sometimes you don't win, but uh, that's what I, I try to do. So it's all, all about keeping 100% uh, focus and try to work as good as you can. Uh, of course, uh, I wouldn't have come to Belgrade if I didn't feel 100%. So uh, disappointed and a bit surprised. But you said you have to win one one title first outdoors. Would that one be the 1500 first? Was that the focus? What? Are you going to be focused? You said you have to win one first before you double. Like, are you definitely going to do the 1500 at Worlds, or might it, might it be possible you only do the 5000s? No, 
Well, I'll have to, uh, I'll have to try the, the main distance first. And do you mind if I ask you a question about the tattoos? When do you choose to get a new one? What goes into that decision? It's not really a decision. It's whatever. Whatever you feel like? Yeah. Right. Thank you. Thanks,